Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Colin McRae Dirt. Today is episode number six. If you want to keep up to date with all going on in this series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, next up is going to be the Core Pro 4 race. And we're going to be going around two tracks. This is the first time we've actually had two races, like lap races, in one event. And we are going to be getting £150,000 for winning. Now we have a choice of either the Silverado or the Toyota Tundra. I am going to be taking the Toyota Tundra. And I feel like I'm going to take this red design. That looks very nice. Saving content again. Let's do this. Come on. Nice. Right, so we are here in USA Tundra, and we are starting with the Chula Vista A. Let's do this. All right, here we go. The Toyota Tundra, I think it was called. Let's go. We've got a three-lap race in these buggies. Massive trucks. I love these core pros. Whoa. These are some of my favorite vehicles. They they were my favorite in Dirt 1, Dirt 2. I don't actually think Dirt 3 had these. No, I lie, they did, but they had the really crappy, tiny ones. They weren't very fun. Um, and then Dirt 4 made it feel so much more exciting. Like, Dirt, Dirt 4 perfected this mode. And I'm hoping they have these vehicles back in Dirt 5. The big chunky trucks. Um, but I haven't seen any pictures of these or things like this. And I'm really hoping that the Aerial Nomad hasn't just replaced it completely. Because I know they've been like showing off the fact that they've finally got the Aerial Nomad and stuff like that in the game. But like, I really am looking forward to like, driving some of these. Like, these are my favourite. So, please, Codemasters, if you can, squeeze them in before the game comes out, please. Thank you. <laughs> Fact as well, uh, Project Cars 3. Oh! Coming out soon. Um, and that's now owned by Codemasters, which is going to be... Uh, interesting because Codemasters love to make their games very arcadey they are very arcade based games all Codemaster games I love like F1 uh, F1 it's mostly F1 in there. Dirt I think Codemasters literally only make F1 in there. Onrush that game was amazing from Codemasters The thing is though, this is a multi-event, so if we don't come first in the first race, that's not the end of the world. It's if you don't come first in the second race, that's when it's the end of the world. <laughs> that was two wheels for at least a second. That's got to be a new record. Steady, keep it steady over the jumps. There we go, first place. We got that final section I'm green. Sponsors are, you must be good. Sponsors are ecstatic. Awesome. They should be. We did a good job. Uh, that is 10 points there. Obviously, 7, 8, 9th, and 10th don't get any. They were way too far off. There we go, our points total 10. Let's see if we can win the next race. That would be really cool. Uh, I think we've got a service area as well. Do we have to do, like, repairs? Or does that automatically happen at the service area? Car damage can really slow you down. So make sure that you're on top of all the repairs that are needed. Christian and I are particularly good in this area. So if you have any doubts or queries, just hit the help button. Go oh, on, so that's how that you sucks. do it. Ah, interesting. Okay. 
Nice. But I think that's only for rally. I'm pretty sure. Right. Tell me two wheel is on this list. Tell me the two wheel is on this list. Highest jump is on there. 15.54. Give me the two wheels. Yes, we've got quite a few liveries. Longest distance without crashing. Yes, that's an entire stage. Distance travelled. Yes. Nah, it's not going to show me. Two losses. Lovely. Alright, this is the second attempt of this race. Uh, I managed to... There's a glitch in this game. Um, that never got patched. Never has been patched. Um, and it's when you take the inside corners with these trucks. Sometimes you get flung miles into the air. You get like flipped 20 times. And I managed to find that glitch. Um, and yeah. It was unlucky. We are in first place though for now. So hopefully a little bit more luck on our side. Um, in that race though, I did mention that I think Dirt should do like a custom. Like, not a custom. But like a new game mode. Um, which is like drag racing but on dirt because there's no game out there that does like dirt drag racing and I think it would be really cool to do like just straight lines with lots of bumps you have like big jumps small jumps all sorts and you take these trucks and you just go in a straight line it's like a mile long there's all different types of jumps and the first one across the line at the end and it'd be good for like suspension tuning and stuff like that because normally drag racing you don't have to deal with that stuff it's just gearbox that's about 99% of the tuning that you need to do but adding in like suspension and stuff like that or dirt racing where you've got to go over bumps you can take rally cars over smaller bumps stuff like that that would be awesome it really would and especially in multiplayer, playing with your mates and trying to find the fastest car is always the most fun. Haha, <laughs> look at me, I've got the fastest Ford Focus. Beat that. Right, stay away from the inside of the corners. I don't want the glitch. It is a big glitch and it's enough to throw you off. There's one around this corner and there's one around... Uh, the start finish bit. It's that there. It looks tiny and it looks like your car would go over it. But it doesn't apparently and it flies your car miles into the air. Perfect. Right, on to the final lap. Let's do this. Get back on the track. Thank you. Awesome. Nice. Oh. That is, that's a new record. That's a new record right there. That must have been at least two seconds. Nice. Oh! Just about avoided the glitch spot again. Awesome. Final corner. And across the line. Oh. That was a bit of a bump. We won the whole championship. That's how it's done. Awesome. 10 points for that. 20 in total. Let's see how it went. Keep going, dude. You got two more events open to you. 
And 150,000 pounds. Very nice. Right, so next up, how many events are there in this? Saving content. Ta da. Uh, so there are eight events for this. Uh, and next up is the crossover four wheel drive. We're going to be taking the Mitsubishi done, or friend. the Subaru. So I feel like uh, last time we definitely took the Subaru. So we're going to take the Continental Evo this time. And we are at Pozzo della Cava in Italy. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Mitsubishi Continental design. Imagine if they made a Mitsubishi Continental. Like a Bentley. Oh, I remember this track as well. This is a good track. This one's quite long, I think, as well. A little bit more difficult to drive as well. But as long as we get the dub at the end, that's all that matters. Lancia there. Oh, yeah, because you got the. Uh... Ooh, that was not good. That was not smart or clever or anything. This is close. if you're actually winning or not because that meter on the side seems to shift dramatically and this is the part where we sort of started to jump ahead okay we are ahead we are ahead we are ahead we're behind we're behind we're behind oh that was close too close for comfort but there we go we got the win. 1 minute 50.37. Great result. You floored it on that one. Oh! Phew! Close. I have a feeling this next race is going to be very, very close. There's going to be so much more speed that our opponent is going to carry through these corners. So much more speed. Honestly, it's going to be ridiculous. 31% career complete as well. We're getting there. By the end of this recording session, we'll be at probably 40%. But, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of races to do. I'm really looking forward to the final event as well. Really am. Because I haven't played the final event in over 10 years. And I have memories of it, completing it, and being so excited. That's a very good start there. Nice. Keep it steady, keep it stable. Nice. We didn't hit the wall this time. I remember last time we tapped the wall slightly. Right, the fact that we are ahead now is pretty reassuring. That wasn't great. I think actually we're further ahead than we were before in the last race. So hopefully we can uh, keep it up. Yep, 
Yeah, we are much further ahead, maybe. Yeah, look at that. Miles ahead. Can't tell if this is the personal best, though, whether that time was better or not. We did it, though. We won. It was a personal best. 148.61. And our last time was 150.37. Very good. Okay. That was very good. Right. All right. You can access two new events. Go get them, bud. Two new events unlocked and 125,000 Great British Pounds. Awesome. Oh, that's another. T that's the other T4 race there unlocked now. Cool. Uh, next up is, I think it's a rally. Yeah, so we're doing a four-wheel drive rally in Australia now. Okay, we're going to go for amateur. And I feel like it's time to go for the No Fear Subaru this time. Let's do this. Australia with the Impreza 06. We're going to be going to Tidbinbilla. Tidbinbilla. And then Bendora B. Let's go. All right, here we go. Subaru Impreza's this time. I can feel it. We are here in Australia. 40, left four over crest. Let's do this. 60, right three, left three. 60, left five, 40, left four. 60, right Oh, one. no, that wasn't great. Obviously, uh, dirt is sort of like the biggest series for me, but the um, dirt, the numbered dirt series is my favorite. Dirt Rally, and not right a great fan of. Right Obviously, four. they're going to be making like a Dirt Rally 3.0 after Dirt four, 5. Right four into left two. Kind of obvious. And right three. But I've never, 40, I've never been a fan two. of Dirt Rally. It's too uh, realistic, 40, right and six, obviously and rallying four, is very difficult. So I want to be able to actually drive. 100. That's a sim game. Right three proper. and right four. This is a fun game. 60, left four. I feel like we're actually a little bit slow 60, today. Right three. Uh, we are left slower, 3.15 seconds. Travis Pastrana 40, right four. is the one behind us. And right five, left four, long into right one. Oh, onto the brakes, please. 40, left five, Thank long, you. and right six. 100. Crest, right four and right five. 100, right nice. five, 60, left one. 40, right five, long. And crest, and left five over crest. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch right it. Five, okay, nice. Left five, long, right five. Nice. And right four Here we over go. Get around the corner. And left six and right five into left four long. Forty left four. Nice. Sixty right six and right six. One hundred right six left six. One hundred crest and right three. 100, right six, 60, Perfect. left two. We've got a long distance ahead of us. Ahead of them, 60, should I say. Keep right and right three, dip over crest. And left five, 150. So far though, out of all the uh, Dirt 5 gameplay as of today, in July, there hasn't crest, been any rally 40, stages. Right five, um, 60, left five. Which is a massive aspect of 60, uh, and right Dirt 2 and Dirt long. 3. So I'm really 40, hoping that they do actually have proper rally. 40, right three. Oh, I didn't see you come in. I did not see you come in. There we go, left much better. Four. And crest, left five, tightens four into right four. 60, left 4, over crest. Nice. And right 4 into left 3, long. And right 4, 40. 
right five over crest into left four right. 40, left four. Oh, sorry. 100, left one. Oh. I thought that uh, right one was much earlier 40, over the crest. Finish. Here we go, finish line. Woo, that was crazy. Ha, no one came close. Winners by a mile. Yep, we won by a mile. We're going to move on to the second stage now. Let's just go straight to it. It went very well. Again, we've only had terminal damage once, and I think that was in the Celica with... Um, it was a pretty bad crash, actually. Favourite vehicle is the Evo. Interesting. So we haven't driven the Subaru enough. Chula Vista. I don't know where that track is. Here we go. Only winners in we have uh, hit... Um, what was it? Two hours of total driving time. Which, if I add that up correctly, should be about five or six videos. Right five, Titans two, bad camera. Forty, left four. Come on, that's very good. Right over crest into left five. Forty, right four. Forty, right one. Forty, left four and crest and left four. Forty, left four and right four long. Obviously, most people will have the minimap, but I have a strong preference over arrows for this. 40, left 3, and left 3. 40, left 5, 150. Do you know, this stage is actually quite nice. It's not too bad. Left 4, over jump, and right 3. There's a lot of satisfaction. When you can go between trees on like a narrow road, but actually be able to go quick, Right it's satisfying. Four, as soon as you start stressing out and like jump, having to break 40, at every single right four, corner, right three, it's not crest. satisfying. And left four over crest, forty. Right four, left four, also and left four over crest. Forty. Right three and left four. Forty. Left four and right four long tightens. 60, left 5, long. Nice. 40, left 6, and left 5. Right, so we are 9 seconds ahead, approximately. 40, press or 8.93. Right and left 4, Whoa. long, and right 4, okay. into crest, left 4. Right, so we're going right, then left, then right. And right 4, nope, and left, left then right, then left. Over crest. And right 4, and left 4. 40, right 5, over crest. 80, left 5, over jump. 60, right 4, long. 40, left 5, oh. and left 3. 60, right 4, opens. Nice. 60, crest, and right 6, left 6, jump. 14.22 right seconds ahead 60, of Mr. Pest Pestrana. 40, left 6, and right 6, 40, left 4, and right 4. Oh, no. 80, care, right 5, Titans 3, over jump, and left 4. I can hear a radiator 40, hiss. left 5, and right 5, and left 5, and right 2. I wouldn't 40, be surprised, crest, that was a massive 60, crash. Crest, left four, long. Oh, and that was terrible too. That tree was like in the shade, 40, invisible. Right five, long, and left five over crest. 60, finish. Very nice, 14.81 advantage. We did it. We won the, the car event. is on Great fire. Stuff. I think that's the only way to describe that. It's on fire. And total time is 7 minutes and 4 seconds. Very good. Very good, very nice. Halfway through the competition. You're doing great. Keep going. There we go. 150,000 pounds. What's this? 
Lotus Exceed, nice. And an Aaron Hawley Super Buggy. And we've unlocked the fifth tier. Tier number five. Right, saving content. Right, alongside the uh, network disconnection that I just had, uh, we are going to move on to Rallycross Classic. We are going to Croft and Knockhill for this one. Signed in. Ta-da! Uh, so we have a choice of two vehicles now. We have to buy them. Uh, the Peugeot 205 T16 or the Lancia Delta S4. Uh, with uh, three events available, I'm going to go for the Peugeot because I actually prefer that car. Uh, we're going to go for two events with that and one event with the Delta. Or one, one with each to start off with then. Uh, so here we go. We've got the Peugeot. And I feel like that Goodyear design is quite nice. Let's go for that. Are you going to save? There we go. Right, so first off is Croft. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Rallycross in the Peugeot 205 T16. And this is the car with the big dinner plate. What are you doing? Oh no! We've taken off that Peugeot's wing. It doesn't look great without the wing, I'm not gonna lie. Though the Pikes Peak version of this car, I don't know if that's in this game. But uh, the Pikes Peak version is definitely a powerful thing. Right, off we go. 0 0.46 second lead, and we've spun out. Managed to recover very nicely, though. That's something you wouldn't be able to do in a racing game, is recover that quick. Uh, not in a racing game, in real life. You would not... That is only in racing games can you recover like that. And in style, too. Get back on track. Oh, that was close. Right, out of the way. I'm coming for you. What are you doing? Stay back, stay back. Come on, let's get the win. Yes. Now that is how you do it. 155.28. Man, you really blew him away. Excellent run. That was really good. Crazy. 35.26 seconds for that fast is that. We got 10 points so far. We're going to move straight on to the second race now. We're going to be loading up the menu screen. I think, will we have to do repairs? I don't know. We will double check. Saving content. Uh, damage and repair. No, it's all repaired already. Right, let's go to the next race then. All right, here we go. Second race in the Peugeots. Go, 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 go. The Sparko car's going to win. Oh. What was that Delta doing? Literally slowing down for a corner you didn't have to slow down for. Let's go. Right, and onto the brakes around this corner. Perfect. Awesome. Right, come close to the inside. Oh, no. We lost that wing. Oh, no. And we've got a little bit of uh, pull towards the left now.
This car would, in real life, if that wing came off, would become the most unstable car ever. Come on, come on, come on. Cool. Nice. And there we go. Coming up to the final straight. And we're going to cross the line. In a 153.82. That was very good. We won. Nice. Right. 20 points. That is a very good win. Thank you so very much. Right. Let's see. How much rewards did we get? First, Got place? first place. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Nice. Right, we've got three more events to do after this. Saving content. Ta-da. Right, next up is Rally Raid T4. We'll then be going on to Rally. And then one more Big Rig Hill Climb. But let's go for Rally Raid T4 now. Good we got ourselves £150,000 for this. And this is the other event. We're going to be taking the Man TGA for this one. The big one. The powerful one. And there's two races as well. Um, I feel like actually the Sparko design is the nicest design, that blue. Right, so we are here at San Ysidro Mountains in the US of A, so let's do this. Alright, here we go, the man truck. This thing is uh, much, much taller than the others. I think this is the first left track, five, isn't it? Yes, this is a starting one. We're doing one lap. I wish it was two. 80, crest and left six. There we go, up we go. This truck doesn't even get out of like 2,000 RPM at maximum. These are proper truck engines. Nice. Caution, right five over big crest. Go, go, go. Five. Awesome. One hundred, right four, Titans two, left one. This thing is struggling a little bit. Forty, right two, and turn. Right one. Did very well through those corners there. I really wonder what the top speed of this thing is. And left three, sixty. Right four, over crest, and left four, and turn. Right three, opens. I feel 60. like one thing that, um... Crest and left two. Dirt 5 needs to do is allow us to take any vehicle on any track. Like, that kind of freedom... Move out of the way. 40, that kind of freedom right is one. good in a game. Um, obviously, this game restricted you to like certain tracks could only have certain types. So these ones could only, these tracks could only have raid T1 and T4. Even in the custom race menu, only right have six, T1 or T4. And left six and caution, crest right five. So the choice to have different vehicles on different maps would be amazing. Like, imagine if Dirt 2 would let you have Trailblazer on proper rally tracks. Because obviously Trailblazer had to be on different tracks. Or having Trailblazer on even Rallycross would be amazing. Right, one. right, coming up to the hairpin. I wouldn't call this a right one. I call it a hairpin. One hundred. Time point. Um, we didn't slow down. But there we go. Across the line. 
251.9. Yes. It's a very first. good time. Excellent. Excellent. Times are pretty decent. I found this uh, bigger truck to be a lot more fun to drive than the other one a lot more fun so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe make sure to check the description down below for all of our social links we've got instagram twitter and discord and if you want to stay up to date with colin mccray dirt then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to help support the channel make sure to hit the join button and also check out our merch link down in the description but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.